Have a great trip, Jake. Brilliant. Now, we mentioned on Friday about an exciting change in the weather. That's the weather forecast here at ITV Meridian. Just before we reveal our new look, Simon's been looking back at how it used to be done. It's a national obsession. Has the power to make or break days. It's the most talked about subject in the country. And it's been on ITV since 1955. Good evening to you. A few days ago I was receiving from viewers spring flowers, strawberries, or strawberry rather, admittedly not ripe. So in more detail, the weather? Well, there'll be a few showers about, I'm sure you expected me to say that. I've said it so many times in the past years. And the somewhat lighter. We'll start off today by looking at a satellite picture. This one taken up to two o'clock this afternoon. We've come along. But now for ITV weather, the wind of change is blowing through. We set up 16 focus groups around the UK to understand what do our viewers want from weather bulletins and also how they access weather information on a daily basis. We'll still be working with the Met Office to keep you up to date with the latest forecast, but all across ITV, we've a brand new look that will make whatever weather is coming our way look good. Yes, even heavy rain. Gone are the tried and tested symbols from the maps, and in their place, new high-tech graphics that tell the weather story as it happens, using data collected from hundreds of weather stations across the country. The entire team of ITV weather presenters have been back to school to learn how to create new graphics for our on-air weather bulletins, as well as for online and social media. And now, we're ready. That brought back some memories, didn't it? Simon's with us now. So, Simon, very different for you. Yeah, there's, there's no magnets, there's no boards mm. that flick round in a triangular fashion. It's all high-tech. So tell us, how does it all work? I can do better than that, Fred. I can show you how Yay. it all works. Come and have a look. <laughs> uh, let me take you to where we do the weather. This is Studio One, where the Meridian News comes from. In this dark corridor is the, uh, the gallery in here. Our highly trained team of... Oh, no, sorry, no. The Meridian production team, evening, and uh, come on through here. This is Studio Two, and this is where we do the weather. Now, the first thing that you're going to notice is there's just this massive big wall of green. But if I stand here, by the magic of television, I'm suddenly up against Northern Ireland. Now, you're thinking, why is he standing against Northern Ireland? Well, in our region, we've had no rain today, so uh, get rid of that. And uh, look, you can see there is rain. That's what the new rain looks like. There's a clock down in the corner. That counts down hour by hour so you get to follow the weather story as it happens and if you're wondering what that little dot next to tuesday is that's your moon phase just at the minute we've got a, a relatively new moon it's a 6.7 percent waxing crescent don't you know but uh, you're probably more interested in the forecast so here it is from blizzards to pool driving through europe euro tunnel the shuttle sponsors itv meridian weather well, it has been a lovely day for the most part, and it started off very nicely too. This was Wareham Quay, the River Froome at daybreak this morning. Uh, thanks to Richard Murgatroyd for sending in that gorgeous picture. And Sussex, here's how the day started for Craig Wilson. Meridian weather at ITV.com if you want to send me a picture, and tomorrow will be equally as nice a day. Basically, we've got high pressure up to the northeast of us, and that's going to keep the weather fronts at bay. So we will see a bit of extra cloud developing overnight, but the low pressure and the rain stays way out to the west and we just get a trouble-free day. Overnight tonight though you will notice that the cloud starts to thicken up from the west. You can see that cloud shadow working its way across the region. Now last night very cold indeed. Uh, we got down to minus 0.6 degrees in parts of Oxfordshire. Tonight for the most part we're going to be up into double figures though in some rural spots we will dip down to around 7 or 8 degrees and the winds will stay light too and for tomorrow 
morning. Well, that's high cloud generally, so it does mean that it will be hazy sunshine to get us going. But you'll notice from the east through the day, that cloud tends to get chipped away, more in the way of blue sky developing. And temperatures will react with that sunshine, picking at around 16, 17 degrees, though it will be uh, fairly breezy along the coast and around the Isle of Wight. Sunrise, by the way, uh, tomorrow morning is at 7.13, sets again tomorrow night at half past six. As for your high tide times, you can see on the Isle of Wight, around five past one in the morning, then 20 past one in the afternoon. And then the outlook, well, Wednesday will be another fine day, more cloud though, towards the end of the week. Euro Tunnel the Shuttle sponsors ITV Meridian Weather. And that's how we look tonight. In just a moment, we've got the ITV Evening News with Mary Nightingale and Mark Austin. Stacey's got our own news. Do join her if you can. For now, though, from the team here at ITV Meridian, including our meteorological megastar, <laughs> Simon Parkin. Thank you very much, Lee, for watching. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. <laughs>